I have to actually bleed the clutch slave cylinder itself, which is going to be now. I've already filled up with fluid and we're ready to bleed down there. So you will basically start out with pumping very slow. You can actually see the bubbles already. Squeeze very slowly. Can I get back up? Can I have my Nope. see the bubbles and keep going now I'm already building pressure which is a good sign and that looks like it's bleeding bubbles for me huh interesting I don't believe I saw that and the OEM handle. Oh yeah. Now I've got clutch pressure. I'm gonna keep going for a few. Until basically I don't see bubbles anymore. If you get any of this stuff anywhere, wipe it up instantly. This stuff takes lives. I have a heavier clutch because I have a Barnett clutch kit that's part of my turbo kit but already I'm feeling clutch pressure I haven't felt before, which is a good sign. Nice and slow. Clutch, we're gonna hold the clutch down and we're gonna open it up. We're gonna let the bald eagles and duck fluid scream. There we go, now we're getting fluid. All right, got the clutch lever pulled in. We'll let a rip tater chip again. We close it. About 20 more times. I don't know if you can see that, but there is so much garbage in there. A bunch of black dots and speckles and yeah, yeah. And you'll end up putting your cover back on. Just three Allen heads, really simple. Goes in these receiver holes. Pretty simple, straightforward stuff. Fluid pretty clean down there in the cup. So I'm gonna call it a day for now. And uh, put your top back on, screw it down. Do not over tighten it. Do not over expand your gasket and grenade it. And uh, I'll show you the finished product when it's done. Whew, that was a workout. It was a lot more timely because I wanted to flush the fluid, but got our outer casing back on, three Allen head, our top back on, hand tight with a screwdriver. No leaks as of yet, so we're good to go. And we've got clutch pressure, so I am satisfied. We also have a nifty little plastic cover that came on our hourglass. Let's see if it works, shall we? Oh, I missed this bike. Turbo V rods back up. We'll get back to some vlogs, moto vlogs. I don't even think you guys have seen it run on seven pounds, so we're definitely going to make that happen. Yeah. Cool. I hope you liked it. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs down if you want to be rude. I can't imagine why this would be a thumbs down video. I just showed you how to do stuff free and give you free information on how to save money and get a better looking product and avoid going to Harley and getting taxed hard. So again, make sure you subscribe. Hit the, the notification bell for us if you do subscribe. If you are subscribed and you haven't hit the notification bell, hit that. I'm going to install the mirror here shortly. Again, wipe it down every time you spill some brake fluid. Old, paint worn away, garbage, beautiful, new and hotness. We will see you next time.